Benchmarks of Intel's upcoming Whiskey Lake U processors were just leaked. We could start seeing some sexy hair in video games and a deal. Stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. Last month, at Computex, Intel announced the code names for new iterations of their Y and U Ultrabook processor lines. Whiskey Lake U and Amber Lake Y were about everything they gave us besides the fact that they're not on the long-awaited 10 nanometer node. Well, today we've got an interesting leak from both SciSoft and 3 Marks databases with details on two of the new U or ultra-low power processors. The first CPU found on 3 Marks database is the i7-8656U. Now, Intel stated we'd see a really big upgrade this time around, but I don't think anyone would have predicted this. The 4-core 8-thread CPU is more than likely a 15-watt chip, as most U-variants are. But this bad boy comes in a 1.8 GHz base clock and a pretty incredible 4.5, and in this benchmark, nearly 4.6 GHz boost. That's 500 MHz higher, and not something to scoff at if this does remain a 15-watt part. Of course, it can't get too much higher given it's made for small ultrabooks with little heat dissipation. And while the boost clock is impressive, remember that it's not an all-core overclock and can't stay there for long. But still, that's nothing to scoff at. The next chip spotted on the SciSoft database is the i5-8265U, another 4-core 8-thread CPU with 6 MB of L3 cache, a base frequency of 1.6 GHz, and a boost to 3.9. And while not as impressive as the i7's clocks, it's something that can seriously put ultrabooks in a new level. Next up for today is a seriously interesting story that could tie into next generation GPUs with the possibility for seriously great looking hair. Originally reported by PC Games N, the University of South Carolina, Microsoft, and Pinscreen have come up with a really ingenious way to digitally draw hair. Okay, okay, I know that doesn't sound all that interesting, but if anyone's played a game lately with just about any kind of realistic look to it, hair is almost always that one thing that stands out as a poor representation. And that's because hair is hard, like really hard to render. I mean, the only real way to get it right is to render each strand individually, which means rendering thousands of them. It isn't easy. And that's why your GPU takes such a hit on FPS. But that's where this research comes in. The teams were able to use a type of AI processing to get it done. It's called convolutional neural networks, and it's a type of deep learning used for visual imagery. The team was able to use this process to take 2D images and in real time essentially draw the hair. And as you can see, it looks really good. Of course, you may be wondering why it could help gamers. Well, NVIDIA's next generation of GPUs are expected to support real-time ray tracing, which appears to use tensor cores a specific core made for AI and deep learning. If this is the case, I think it's clear we could easily see something like this in the future. Fingers crossed. Lastly for today is a seriously sweet deal. Cooler Masters Hyper T2, the smaller cousin to their world-renowned Hyper 212 Evo, is on sale for 41% off at just $9.99. Basically, if you're holding on to Intel's stock fan, this is a great buy to keep your CPU quite a few degrees lower for a longer life. If you're interested, check affiliate links to both Newegg and Amazon in the description below. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for some seriously powerful ultrabooks or want to pick up a new cooler? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like the video and love to keep up with all things gaming hardware, make sure to subscribe. And as always, have a great day.